there, welcome to Crochet Critters. Today we are going to be making this adorable little bumble bear. So he's kind of like a little bear crossed with a bee, obviously. <laughs> I think he's super cute. I'm I think he's probably one of my most adorable creations to date. I love him so much. So I hope you like him as much as I do because I think he's just the cutest little bumble bear ever and I'm hoping other people like him as much as I do. Um, before we get started, please um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, it really helps me a lot and it's great support for me. Um, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts, what you think of this video and any of my others that you've watched. Um, don't forget you can also check out my uh, Etsy store as well. I've got other patterns available there too. If you'd like another way to support me, I'd really appreciate it. Um, but let's get started today. So this is what we're making and this is what we'll need. So we'll need some yarn. So three colors today, we need yellow, black, and white. Unless of course you want your bumble bear to be different colored, that's fine too. Um, I'm using Hobby's Honey Bunny yarn today. With that, I'll be using my five millimeter crochet hook. You'll need scissors, a needle, a stitch marker, safety eyes, and these are 10 millimeter safety eyes that I'll be using today and some stuffing and that's what you need to get started okay to get started with we are going to be doing six single crochet into a magic ring and this is how i like to do my magic ring um, and if you'd like to learn how to do this i've got a more detailed tutorial which you can follow i'll put the link in the description below so six into the magic ring If you have issues with working with plush yarn, don't forget keep your stitches a little bit looser. It'll help with them um, pulling through the tail and the loops later because it catches and grabs quite a lot. It can be a bit tricky. Okay. And now I will grab my stitch marker, put it in. I like to <clears throat> put it in the last stitch of the round. Um, you can put it in the first stitch of the round if you would prefer, but I like to keep mine in the last stitch to keep track of where I'm at. Okay, so now we're going to do six increases to go up to 12 single crochet. And as I do my first couple of stitches, I'm going to anchor this tail back here, just in behind that, just to make sure that nothing's going to come unraveled and come undone. So just behind my first couple of stitches tail there anchor that in there just help it not shift anywhere so um, that's one increase so that increases two single crochet into one stitch so one and two and there's an increase so we'll do that the whole way around to get up to 12 stitches next round will be a single crochet and an increase six times to get up to 18 stitches so one single and then an increase six times and the next round is going to be two single and an increase six times to go up to 24 stitches so two single and then an increase Okay, so now we are going to color change to the black and I'm going to show you a little trick how I like to do a color change and kind of make it a, a more of an invisible color change so you can't really tell or well, you can a little bit where I did the color change but it's not quite as obvious as some color changes and it is sitting around the back side so 
but as you can tell it's quite a smooth sort of transition more even than some other methods of color changes so this is what how I like to do it so first of all I'm going to put a stitch marker in the front loop of the next stitch and you'll see why in a second it just helps me keep track of where that front loop is and then you grab your black yarn and what we're going to do is just go in through this back just through the back loop Oops. there and we're going to pull up the black yarn through there like so Oops. and then we're going to do finish off the stitch the yarn over and finish off that stitch and just tighten everything up make sure everything's secure and we're going to crochet over these yarn tails so that they're not going to go anywhere so that is stitch one for the round and yes I haven't gone through the front loop here but you'll see why when we come back around again so we're going to do three single crochet to start with so that's one and then we'll do another one and we're going to crochet over the two tails to secure them so it's the yellow tail and the black tails and then another single crochet over the tails there okay and I'm not cutting the yellow because we're going to go back to yellow so I'm just going to leave that attached so try not to get too tangled up so next we're going to do a bobble stitch to do the first leg of the little bear um, and again I'll put a I've got a detailed tutorial on the bobble stitch too so I'll put the link to that as well so this is going to be a, is it a four stitch or a five stitch bobble I'll tell you in a second so yarn over so sorry yarn over insert the hook yarn over pull through a loop yarn over pull through two loops on the hook so now you've got two and then we do it again yarn over into the same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two now we've got three yarn over insert yarn over yarn over pull through two and now we've got four so it's going to be a four stitch bobble that's what it is yarn over pull through two so we end up with five stitches on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all five stitches and that is our first bobble stitch so then we're going to do seven single crochet and make sure you go into the next stitch don't miss that stitch because sometimes it gets hidden under the bobble so make sure you go into the next stitch so seven single crochet now we're going to do another bubble stitch so remember yarn over insert yarn over pull up yarn over and pull through two okay and then we're going to do another seven single remember finding the next stitch making sure you don't miss it Okay, and another bobble stitch here. And then three. And we'll finish the round with four single crochet. Okay, now we're going to finish off that color change that we started before. So you can see that's the front loop that we missed last time and then we've got the stitch that we created when we didn't go through the front loop so we're going to go through that front loop now and then we're going to go through both of the loops of the stitch that we made so we've got th going through three loops there and then you're going to pull through yarn over and pull through all three of them and yarn over there is your nearly invisible color change so you can see it just kind of makes it a lot more seamless across there so that's the first stitch of the round we're going to do just 24 single crochet the whole way around 
so we've got another 23 to go after that stitch <clears throat> so 23 more stitches to finish off the round So we are now going to do another colour change back to yellow. So I'll grab my purple stitch marker again and just put that in the again in the front loop of that last the first stitch of the last round. And then we've got our yellow still attached. Grab the yellow and again through that back loop of the next stitch. And don't pull too tight because you've got the the tail. You don't want to pucker up the um, the bear, so pull through that back loop. Just so. oops, what have I done here? And then yarn over and pull through both on the hook. And we're going to just tighten that up. Check that it's all secure. And then we will again yarn over. The tail here just to make sure everything stays secure so we're going to do just 24 single crochet around in this round and we've already done the first one so this will we've got 23 more to go and again yarning uh, crocheting over the tails to keep everything nice and um, secure Again, we're going to finish off our invisible color change so we've got that um, front loop marked and then that's that stitch that we're going into okay so we'll go into that front loop there and then into both loops of that stitch and then yarn over and pull through all three so like that and yarn over and pull through those two and there is your invisible ish color change see um and then we are going to do 24 another 24 single crochet around um so we've done one we'll do another 23. We're going to do another color change back to black again so purple stitch marker and we'll go into that front loop just there and then we will grab our black yarn and we'll go into the back loop it's a bit easier to see on the yellow the back loop there and pull up a loop of the black yarn over and pull through both and just up and again I'll work over the yarn tails so this round we're going to be two single crochet and a decrease six times and we're going down to 18 stitches so that's stitch one and then we'll do a second single crochet and yarning over the tail just to secure it then we're going to be doing a decrease so we'll go um, I'd like to do the invisible decrease which is using the front loop only so go front loop only front loop only of the next two stitches and yarn over and pull through both of those yarn over and pull through so I'll show you again so in just another two singles and then we'll do another decrease so front loop only and front loop only yarn over pull through both of those front loops yarn over and pull through two so that's your invisible decrease so continue um, uh, the round two single and a decrease and then we will again finish off our invisible color change so into that front loop that we marked and then into the stitch that we made in the back loop so both you've got three 
on your hook there and then yarn over and then we are going to do so this round will be three single crochet a bubble six single crochet a bubble and then seven single crochet so that's our first stitch done with the color change finishing up the color change there so we're going to do another two single crochet and then a bubble so another bubble stitch here and these will make the arms and then we'll do another six single crochet and this is across the front across the tummy so we want to just double check as we're doing this that the arms are going to line up where we want them um, with the body so if you have to shift it a stitch either side feel free to um, remembering that when you're doing like no sew patterns like this um, if your tension's different or your yarn's different it can shift slightly where um, some of the, the landmarks land so just shift if you need to so that's six and now another bubble And then finishing off with seven single crochet and I'm just going to double check I'm happy where the arms have landed this one's a little bit off so I'm actually just going to undo that one and just move it back one stitch just I think that will look a little bit better on mine again you do what you need to do um, to make yours look how you want to make it look really don't be afraid to undo things if it's not looking quite right just go with it and make your piece how you want to make it there we go that looks better sorry about the screaming again kids aren't wanting to play ball today and we'll finish off the round with what should be seven single crochet but I'm gonna have to do um, eight to finish off my round because I shifted my arm um, one so. okay and this will be the last color change we're gonna do so I'll put my stitch marker in that front loop again and I'm going to cut my black yarn we won't be needing him anymore just untangle it from my yellow keep it out of the way okay so I'm going back to the yellow um, we're gonna do the color change first I'll do that first yeah. And then we're going to be doing um, a single crochet and a decrease six times to go down to 12 stitches so that's our first single crochet and then we're actually going to do a decrease straight up and then another single crochet and I'll use this single crochet to anchor that black um, tail that's loose there so we want to make sure we've anchored him a few times so he's not going to go anywhere and your project won't unravel so and then we'll do another decrease it's easier to anchor um, during a single crochet than a decrease because with the decreases you're only going into the front loops so and then another anchoring stitch there and then another decrease And then I'm just going to anchor him one more time into the back of the bubble there and tuck that in and away and then another decrease and then just continue that around the single crochet decrease until you finish the round okay this round we're going to be doing 12 increases and that's going to get us up to 24 uh, stitches all the way around 
which can be a little fiddly with um, the invisible color change that we did. So I'll just go slow here so you can see what I'm doing. So we'll finish off this color change first. So that front loop we missed and then the stitch again. Now I'm going to pull through both. And then we're going to turn this into an increase. So we're actually going to go through all of that again, just so that the two stitches kind of line up and it's still like an, it's still an increase into the same spot. So you can see we've just done two stitches. So I'm going to get rid of that one now. And then we're going to continue doing um, an increase in each stitch all the way around, okay? Okay, so next round we're going to be adding in the nose. So we're going to, again, you're going to want to make sure you've got it right in between your two arms. So I did shift one of my arms, so this might make my count this round different as well. Um, so I'll just see what happens, but it should be, theoretically, 10 single crochet and then a bubble. But I suspect I'm going to have to do 9 and then the bubble, so we'll see. So that's nine. Yeah, so I think I will do the bubble. Yeah, I'll do the bubble now. So that was nine, and then I'll do the bubble. So I'd normally do 10 and then the bubble, but and this is gonna line up better with my arms. So my head's not a monkey. Remember, don't forget to find the next stitch. Okay, so he's pretty much centered nose or snout in between those bubble stitches there and then we'll finish off the round um, with uh, normally 13 single crochet but for me 14 today okay now we're just gonna do um, two rounds of 24 single crochet the whole way around. So two rounds of 24. Okay, at this point I'm just going to stuff the body before we start decreasing. So grab your stuffing and just fill it up as much as you can. Um, remembering stuff into the middle and push it towards the outside to make sure he's nice and round and not lumpy. So whirl it around and then you can go keep feeding into the middle rather than just feeding chunks around. So that'll help him not be a lumpy bumpy mess. Okay, the next round is going to be two single crochet and then a decrease and we'll do that six times to go down to 18. Now I'm going to put my safety eyes in. They sit just here. and this, not the round, not this round, but the one just above the, the snout here, and just either side of the snout. Like that. So that's four stitches apart. And then just pop your backs on. this round we're going to be doing the ears um, and we're also going to be decreasing so it can be a bit fiddly and again we're gonna to have to make sure we line up 
with our nose and arms because I shifted things it might make things a little bit different so we'll see what happens so we'll start with a single crochet uh, yeah single crochet and then a decrease a bobble stitch for an ear and then we'll do another decrease and then we'll do another single crochet decrease single crochet decrease and one last single crochet and then we're going to do this ear over a decrease if that makes sense so we're going to yarn over and then go through the front loop of those two yarn over and pull through those two front loops and then yarn over and pull through two on the hook and then we'll yarn over and go back into and uh, this is the fiddly bit into that decrease that we just did there and then yarn over pull through pull through two and keep going back into that decrease which again is a little bit tricky so I apologize for where this landed and then you'll do a single crochet just check your ears uh, what? it's sitting a little bit further back than I want I knew things wouldn't line up nicely today so instead of doing it over the decrease I'm actually going to fiddle with the pattern a bit and remember you can do this just because you're following a pattern doesn't mean you have to do it exactly because sometimes things don't work exactly right so what I'm going to do is yarn over insert I want to do it over a single crochet rather than the decrease there um, so I'll do the bobble stitch here and just tweak things a little bit to make it look how I want and then what I'm going to do is finish off with two decreases rather than a single crochet and a decrease so we'll just decrease here and I think that looks a little bit better and then another decrease here okay so we are up to our last round now which is going to be six decreases I'm going to start stuffing my head now okay so now we'll do six decreases to so close that hole and this is your last chance to add any more stuffing in before we close up okay now we'll sew that hole closed so we're just going to go into the front loop of the last six stitches and and I just pull tight as I go and close that hole and then we'll feed the tail in to the body and a few spots to secure it cut that now all we've got left to do is the wings and the nose okay so now we are going to start the wings so we're going to do um, six single crochet into a magic ring and remembering we will make two wings and don't forget um, my magic ring tutorial in the description below will be the link inch marker again a kidoki, and now we'll do um, 
six increases um, to go up to 12 stitches and I'm again going to just anchor that tail from my magic ring just secure that under my first two stitches and then continue increasing And the next round, which is also the last round, we'll be doing two single crochet and then an increase four times. Okay, and stitch marker out and I'm just going to finish with a slip stitch into that last one, slip, and then for sewing and that is your wing um, what I'm actually gonna so now we need to sew both our wings on and we also need to sew the nose on so I'm actually gonna just do the nose first so I've just got a piece of black plush yarn and so I'm just going to go in through the side of the the face here and then up into the, um, what do you call it, the qu first quarter of the um, bobble stitch. So not into that first stitch of the bobble, but like that second bit there. I'm going to go up into that. And then we're going to go over two of those stitches there. And down into that one. So leaving another bit there as well then go back into that stitch there and just do that a few times same stitches until you're happy with the nose okay, and then the last one go down into that and then come back up the tail that you left there before Take that how you would like. I'm going to tie these two into a knot. I'm going to sew that knot back into the head. So back down into there and pull it up out here. And then we can cut those tails. And there's the little nose. And now we're going to sew the wings on so to get your placement you want them back and center and you just want them so you've got your tail as kind of a marker there hard to see the black tail is there and sort of center them like that so you just want one either side of that right in the middle of the back just underneath the head so I'm going to use the magic ring tail first as an anchor point so you want to position it so the tail is in the center you've got it where you want it wherever that lands I'm just going to use that to anchor so in the body just pop it out there and then we can use the other tail and do a stitch on the body and then we'll go back up on the wing and then down into the next stitch on the wing and let's feed it back up here and then I'm going to do the other side, so up and then to the next stitch. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to feed it back a little bit here because I want my wings to sort of not sit up but sit back flat. So I'm just going to then take a 
stitch on the back of the wing, not right up to the middle, but just up a little bit from where we were sewing and grab that. And then I'm going to in, sew it into here, pull that into here and go up to where the tail from the magic ring is. And you can see that pulls that down just a bit flatter. It's nice and secure. Then you can sew those two tails together. Uh, sorry, sew, knot them together, tie them together securely. And again, feed the knot into the body. That's the first one. And do it again. So again, use the magic ring. Um, tail as an anchor point into the body Pop out. And just on the back of the wing again, taking a loop on the back. And there he is. Your adorable little bubble bear. I think he's cute. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you join me again next time or check out some of my other ones. Um, I have a plain version of this little bobble bear as well, a tutorial to do that without any colour changes or anything fancy. So if you want to check that one out too, um, I would love to hear what you think. So please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to leave a comment and I can't wait to see you guys again next time. Thanks for joining me.